Hey y'all, I've been saving my water bottles to create art, and here is what happened. Oh, now I have to go get that. I started by filling my water bottle with Floetrol and paint. If you didn't know, Floetrol is a paint thinner, and it works a lot better than water. Here it is. Oh gosh, it's heavy. It thins out the paint, making it easier to spread across the canvas. And when I use it, I like to use one part paint and three parts Floetrol. Painting with bottles is fun because I get to use this technique as much as I want. It makes putting the first layer of paint down a lot easier and it takes a lot of the stress out of the process. I repeat this process until I'm happy with the amount of paint that I have to work with. Now I go in with my water bottle and I create the basic shapes that I need to paint a wave. This part can get a little bit messy, but that's really a part of the fun, isn't it? <laughs> this is just a great way to get into the painting without any pressure. Now I'm gonna put my paint directly onto the painting and use my water bottle to try and create some definition in the top part of the wave. This part was challenging because the paint was extremely wet and even though I used a lot of white acrylic paint, it just kind of seemed to blend into the colors below it. Instead of getting frustrated at myself and the situation, I decided to add a teal and work on a different portion of the painting. Oh, and before we continue, let's take a brief second to appreciate my polar bear pajamas. I love to paint in comfortable clothes, and for me, most of the time, it involves painting in my pajamas. Let me know in the comments below if if you like to paint in your pajamas, I know I'm not alone on this. I decided to try adding more white paint by putting the paint directly on the bottom of the water bottle. And I'm actually getting a very unique texture by dabbing the bottle up and down on the canvas. I needed this process to be as easy as possible, so I started to mix my colors directly on my tablecloth. And I think it's kind of fun because you can really see how my colors have been changing throughout this entire video. I was really surprised with how much texture I was able to create with the water bottle. If you're enjoying this content, go ahead and give this video a like and maybe even subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow as an art community that inspires each other to continue to create art. Now you're about to witness one of my biggest mistakes and that is when I started to add the dark blue and the dark gray into the bottom of this painting. Instead of getting frustrated with the mistake I had just made, I decided to use the color in the sky. So I added a little bit of acrylic white and then I started to mix the color from the bottle into the white to create a gray sky with a blue undertone. 
Then I started to work the same blue into the wave to make it seem a little bit more cohesive and to also make the wave blend into the background just a little bit more. I came back in and added a few highlights to make the wave stand out again. So <laughs> at this point, the mistake that I had made earlier was dry. So my plan was to go back in with some lighter colors to enhance that portion of the wave and make it look a little bit more 3D and to create more depth in the painting. Now that I'm coming towards the end of my painting, I'm starting to add in some highlights and some very specific areas that will make the wave stand out from the background. Before we get to the final reveal, I want to encourage you guys to subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow as a community and inspire others to create art. For those of you who like the before and after, this was the bottle before we started painting with it. This is the bottle after we started painting with it. There was a hair. <laughs> And now, what you've all been waiting for, the final reveal. If you guys enjoyed this video, I know you'll really enjoy watching this other video where I painted another wave using a paper plate. I take you through the process and explain how I overcome each obstacle that gets in the way of creating this amazing painting.